here we go. 32 by 48 over at uh, Al and Gina's Lumna Acres, the barn for holding just everything, everything, everything. It's going to have 10 foot walls. There'll be a one pitch roof sloping. Uh, it'll be taller on the front and it'll slope to the back to shed water out away from the, uh, the yard, so to speak. There'll be uh, an opening on this end and an opening on the further end for to drive through. The uh, the back wall will be finished, closed uh, all the way to the to the floor. Post and beam, six by sixes with angled bracing all the way around to make that really rugged. So we formulated a game plan. We're going to cut the six by sixes at nine feet eight and a half inches. That will give us, once we set a top plate on that, plus the post pockets, an inch. It'll make the, uh, the top of the top plate exactly 10 feet. So, can I just one more time? If you want, Ken, want me to get up there with my... I probably won't be able to move them all the tractor. I'm just trying to think, maybe I should come up there with the tractor. If I grab half of them, then I can just use the tractor pallets for as my saw hosses. Oh. And then we can just be All right. Yeah. This one. Inner one. And then you come up there and I'll be working oh, on a yeah. different spot. We're not. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You want me to wait on setting these? Yeah, wait on setting those. All right. I'll come up over here. Yeah. That sounds good. So Chad and Dan are working on laying out all these post brackets. You can see that they're adjustable. The, the anchor bolt will come up through there and there's a plate that sits on top of that. Then it'll lag bolt down, or it'll lag be uh, bolted down. Then the plate sits on it. Then these go over the ends of the six by sixes. Yeah. Just like that. Really nice fit. They'll slide on there. Then there's nails to hold, hold it on the sides. Al's going to move, pick it, pick these uh, six by sixes up. We're going to split the load. <laughs> We'll split the load so that I'll have half of them here and I'll be cutting and he'll have them uh, some elsewhere on another, probably right on his forks so that we're kind of separate and do our cutting. So you're gonna, you're gonna back up or something and I'll, I'll roll some onto the saw horses? I'll try to get under, we'll take just three. Three, re three rows? Three rows, okay. and that'll be nine. And then these, one, two, three, are the ones you can do. Okay. And then those last four. We won't cut. Are you are you going to be on the concrete? I'll go over there okay. Get out of the way. They were going to pull diagonals to make yeah, sure. No, I'll just go over there and get out of the way. Okay, great. <laughs> that was on camera. Oh, I I just I just <laughs> atomic elbowed you. Wow. Wow. Wow, that was close. How did it feel? Great. It's a great. It's a, like a, a limber upper. Okay. So I'm not in your way all at all. Hey, these are two feet lighter than the shop build. <laughs> so. Who's going to cut what? I can cut the four corners. So our overall post po overall post length is nine feet eight and a half. All right. So that'll allow for a top cap of inch and a half, and it also will allow overhang over the concrete to seal that up even more. When we built the shop, these were 12 foot walls, so we're dealing with six by sixes that are two feet lighter. The uh, the plate, the two by eight, we're allowing seven and a quarter. Seven and three eighths. Seven and three eighths, okay. Al's cutting some over there, and I'm cutting, cutting some here. We want to make sure we both do them the same. <laughs>
bring you a little closer so you can see what we're doing. I need another saw. I, I, I don't want to keep moving the settings. I have this set at an inch. I'll go get my cordless. It'll go a little deeper just to save uh, some time. I think I'm all geared up. I got three different tools here. That battery, battery was almost dead. <laughs> Woo! Hi, Chi Mama. So this is designed so it'll have a two by come across here and here for the outside corner and then another one will come in, the inside one will come in and butt up to that one. This second one coming this way will have a joist hanger. It's the only way we can do it. That's how we did it on the, uh, on the shop build. So one done, 17 more to go. All right, Chad and Dan are, they've got the, all four sides laid out for po to uh, drill and, and place the uh, post pockets. So I forget how many there is, I think 18 total. So they're going to start putting those down now. So there he goes, drilling a hole and then it'll secure it, eh? going putting those post pockets down like crazy this is the third corner perfect the P word <laughs> seven out of 18 posts done we're gonna have them done before break You can see they've got a, a chalk line, or a string set there to get it nice and straight. I got the fourth corner post done. Okay, so we are really finally ready to put something up. We've, we've been cutting, I think we were three hours, cutting all the six by sixes. So those are all set. 
Uh, Chad and Dan are going to set them, and Al and I are going to be up on in the lift putting the headers on all the way around. So it should go pretty quickly, I believe. Little materials management. We, I was thinking we could start there and just go go that way. <laughs> I'm moonwalking. I'm practicing to outdo Al and Gina. <laughs> this is pretty nice. We've had power, full power, so we've been using quite a bit of corded tools. But over there, I'll just go with the, with this to trim the header material. So I think we're all set to start there. It's going to get tall all of a sudden. I just get a measurement here first. Thank you very much. 93 and an 8. Huh? Hey, uh, now that we're done, that's the wrong post. It has to be a corner post. You're right. Okay, you passed that test. <laughs> Jerk boss, I know, I know. I, sh I could have wait. Oh, you are done. Okay. Now we're done. Now How we're done. <laughs> how's that feel for stability? Super. Oh yeah. Super. Good. Super. Good. <laughs> Sorry about okay. that. My, uh, I, I'm, I, I no, just no, really no, super no. apologize. Go, go ahead. I'm listening. Go ahead. No, I'm done. That was my apology. <laughs> we're enjoying this. Three posts out of 18 already up. Wow. Wow. Those are fitting in the pockets pretty good, aren't they? Compared, these, these pockets are better than those. Seems like we really had to pound them. What? what? Had to really pound them. Yeah. Toss a nail in there. Toss a nail in. That's colorful talk. Wow. You may have to be the one setting the trusses. It look, that looks like you got to have a learning curve there. Is it? Yeah, same exact machine and everything. Oh, okay. So, I, you want me? You need me up there, or because I can cut ahead for you if you're good nailing them. I guess it just depends on how easy they go on the post. I marked them, so if you put it that way, okay. this side would be this side of the post, okay. and just those two, and this one's just on the corner. Nice. So I don't need to, oops, I don't need to level them enough. No, I think we'll we'll plumb it all after after they're all up. Keep that flush. Like yeah. That. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Woohoo! Big.
Nice. Yes. Yep. Okay. From this point on, I'll have to call. We'll have to call measurements on each one. Uh, yeah, on this one, just so we don't start running off for the, for this post. Chad and Dan are getting ahead of us over there. They're going really well. Everything's lining up really nice. You want to do this side next then? Mine is all over right here. Sure. So. I think those who got the cut, like a 10 and a 12 and a 10 or whatever. Yep. <coughs> raw out. What's that? It's raw out. Yeah, it is. It's not all that hot. Uh, that one should should be flush to the outside. To what up? Uh, to the outside of the post. It's quite a bit, isn't it? Inch and a half off. That's the case. Hey, Chad. Was this front 48 feet exact? Outside to outside. It was supposed to be. Uh, and this post is well. She's getting a, a level. The, the header doesn't match up. I'm just going to verify them all the way down through. Eight foot. It comes out flush to the end? Oh, okay, great. Good. Yep. So I did the same thing here. There's a mark that represents the side of the post. Yeah, twelve six. But it should be a ten footer. We'll finish that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Y'all can, if you don't mind with ladders put up the inside. <laughs> That's an easy reach. That's the next one, Al. It's gonna, on, on that end, it'll be an inch and a half in so that we can run three sixteens. You know, right, yep. So while well, Al and I do the outside perimeter, Chad and Dan are going to do the inside header all the way around.
going really well. It's not even lunchtime yet. Wow. I'll call you out a measurement on each one of these. Okay. I didn't I didn't figure each one. Moving on. He's moving on up to the east side. It's a little harder to nail them from the inside, isn't it? All right, what do you have for a measure? 92 and a half. Right? From outside? That's outside to this side. All right, so I'm going to go from the top. 92 and a half? Yep. When you say that, it makes me want to verify. <laughs> yeah, 92 and a half. Right there. Yep. Is that twisted, the six by six? Let me try to turn it or... Well, that's pretty, pretty doggone good. Four hours to uh, cut all the posts, set all the beam pockets, post pockets, and we've got headers up uh, three quarters of the way around. It's going pretty good. We're gonna stop for lunch. Well, hopefully the post is not incorrect. Uh, the posts are kind of leaned. In. What? How's the elevation height-wise? It... I mean, looks pretty good. Oh, okay. Yeah, the post. This one's leaned out, and that one's leaned in. That's all I need. Whoopie do! All right, so this one has no mark on it. Right. Uh, okay. It, it'll be if you're hooked on eight feet this side to the inside here. Right on the money right there. Wow, nice. So what's the first use for this barn? Cows are going, then you'll go. Yeah. Who put those post pockets in? Because they are perfect. <laughs> yeah, isn't that crazy? <laughs> Forty pound battery to keep an iPhone going. One fourteen and a quarter. I think I need a new tape measure. You keep saying that. What do you like there? No, that's all right. I'm like you. <laughs> I'm like you, I guess. That'd be all right. It'll work. Until it doesn't.
So we're marking all of the plates. That, these are the top plates for truss locations. Make marks like that every two feet. Dan, what's the name of your pencil? Pika. Pika. Pika Dry. It's a $58 pencil. Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> I would not even And Chad's, is yours Pika? Yeah. Do, does anybody have a boo? No. No, just Pika. Okay, we figured out the angle bracing. We're going to do one before we make 30, 32 of them, I think. So it's a lot better to have one wrong than 32. Want me to hold one or something? Or? No, if you want to hold the bottom. Yep. And then maybe put one or two of these. I was thinking if we try to do one or two in the bottom. Going from that. Oh, yes. Maybe. Yep. I'll give you. Look at that beast. Oh, my yeah. head. Or we could do regular screws, but I'm thinking we might want something longer. How far up? Will, which ladder were you going up? The blue one? The blue one. If you want to go up. I wonder if I'll even have to go up. I guess we'll see. Slightly open on the bottom. I don't know. No matter what, you're not going to get it perfect. Really? No, no perfect? No perfect. We can still say it's perfect. Can you hold that and I'll Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm good right here. But it's sliding up here long. I guess I should go up on the ladder. After all. No way. This is more of a job for big people. <laughs> I wonder if you'll ever get tired of hearing me say that to him. Look, calling someone chubby fat boy is always Can you hold it right there? I, I got it, man. Tubby fat boy. Ouch. <laughs> Correct. Correct. Okay. So now. Whoa! I'm not used to this power. Right. Oh. Feel the power. Wow. Nice. One. And then by the time we got the All right. What's that? 31 to go. 31 to go.